So hey everyone and in this video we are going to see about that how we can flash the latest uh, Miku UI which is based on Android 13 for our Redmi Note 8 Pro. The update has already came in our uh, Telegram group and uh, the credits to the respective developers that here the developer name is WZWZX. Okay so full credit to him. So yeah I mean let's see how we can flash this uh, Android 13 unofficial either but let's see how we can flash this to our custom I mean Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay so now let me just give a brief about it but because the reason is that I haven't used it even like this is my first time I'm flashing the Miku UI. I haven't flashed it before so I really cannot give a brief about this but I know one thing that Miku is some anime character uh, in the Billy Billy Billy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's quite funny, but yeah, I mean, Miko is any any anime type of character. So, this uh, custom ROM is based on the anime character and the fans who are making out the custom ROMs for that. So, yeah, I mean, let's start with the video and let's see how we can flash this Miku UI Android 13 for our Redmi Note 8 Pro. So what we have to do is, uh, as usual, I, I'll give the download link at first. So you have to come to this website. I, I'll give provide the link in description. This is taken from directly Telegram source. So credits to all the respective developers and this guy, WZWZX. So you have to come to this website and here you can see that this is the custom ROM file. You just have to click on this one and here you can see that there is an option for download. So you just have to download this. Okay, now I have downloaded, I will not download it anymore, but yeah, you can download it from here. Now again, the second file which we need is the TWRP recovery. So, we will come for, uh, we will come over here on this website and uh, I will provide the link in description as well. And here you can see that when you will come to, come to files, now this is the TWRP recovery. You simply have to uh, click on this one and it will automatically start to download. Okay, now I have already downloaded it, so I will not download it. So yeah, I mean these two files, which is the required one. So let's uh, uh, let me go on my phone and let me show you that who all can flash this round. Okay, guys, so I am on my phone and here let me show you. This is my Redmi Note 8 Pro, and uh, currently, guys, I am on. Let me show you that I am on 12.5.10. Okay, you can see here that I am on 12.5.10. Okay, now if you are on 12.5.1234567891010 anything you can flash follow the steps and make and go to the Android 13 Miku UI. Okay, so let's start. So first thing which we have to do is tap on the MIUI version 7 times. So after tapping you will see that you are now a developer option. It will come up. Okay. So you have to uh, press back and you have to scroll down and here you can see that there is an additional settings okay you have to click on that one now here when you will scroll down here you can see a developer option you just have to select that option again when you will scroll down you can see that my device status is currently unlocked so for uh, flashing any custom rom your device status should also be unlocked if you if you are if your device is bootloader is locked so i'll give uh, i button uh, a video you can just watch that out and you can make uh, your device unlock so uh, here my device status is unlocked now again when you scroll down you can see that there is a set usb debugging setting so you have to make sure that it is turned on Okay, here you have to make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Okay, now we will press back and uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, copy our custom ROM in, in, and what we have to do is we have to copy only the custom ROM. So let's go to our PC and lock, let's copy the custom ROM. Okay, so we have copied the custom ROM. Let me show you where I have copied it. So here you can see that when I will scroll down in the internal storage here, you can see that I have copied the Miku UI. Okay, now let's see how we can flash this. So first what we have to do is we have to turn the phone into bootloader mode. So we'll click on the reboot and uh, we will uh, press the volume down button constantly. Okay, so here you can see that we have came on the fast boot mode. Okay, now let's see uh, what are the steps which in which we need to follow on the PC. Okay, guys, so we are on our PC and here you have to make sure one thing that your phone is still connected to your PC when you are in fast boot mode. Now what you have to do is we have to just extract this team TWRP recovery and when you will click on this extract option, you will get this folder. 
now when you click on double click on this folder so here you can see that there is one recovery file you have to just double click it and again here you can see that this flash brp miui android 11 so you just have to double click on this one and uh, the recovery will automatically be sent to your phone let me show you Okay guys, so here we are on our recovery. You can see that this is the yellow recovery one. And guys, credit uh, to the respective developer that is Ishita who has made this recovery. So guys, let first uh, let's check whether the uh, custom ROM. You can see that my custom ROM has been copied. So make sure to check it out that whether it is has been it has been copied or not. Okay, and one more thing, guys. Uh, 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 you just have to subscribe our channel okay anyways so let's come to the mount a over here and here you, here you just have to mount system and vendor again you have to enable the uh, okay it is already enabled leave it as it is now back over here come to wipe advanced wipe dalvik system vendor data and catch just swipe it again you just have to press home button come to install over here then select the custom rom and you just have to flash this Okay, so we have flashed the custom ROM. Now just you just have to press home button and here you can see the advanced option. So one uh, necessary steps which you have to do is here you can see the disable force and create option. You just have to select this and you have to confirm flash this. Okay, now back again over here. Now this is an optional step. Now if you want to install the magisk, so you just have to click on install magisk and you just have to swipe and flash it. Now if you don't want to install it, you can simply skip this step, there is not an issue. Okay, and one more thing guys, in this uh, uh, TWRP recovery, you get the latest Magisk version, so uh, you can install the recovery and the credit to the respective developer. Okay, so my Magisk has been installed, now what you have to do is we have to come on the wipe option over here and you can, here you can see that option format data, you just have to select this, you just have to type Y. E and then yes then you have to press the tick button okay so we have successfully flashed our custom ROM now we have to enter our system so we'll click on the reboot system the first look is quite good now let's see how the system performs and guys, uh, one thing to say that this is an official, uh, this is a complete build. This is not a beta build. This is a complete build. So if you want to try any ROM, any unofficial custom ROM, so you can just definitely go for it. Okay, so let's set up. Click on the start option over here. Let's set up the offline because I don't want to. Okay, next. Uh, here you just have to turn off this one then allow scanning both of them should be turned off then click on accept Okay, till now I feel it is quite smooth. Now. Let's see what how it performs later Okay, it does not use pixel uh, Launcher and so this is again another smooth ROM after cherish OS Okay, it is definitely a smooth option Okay, in the notification bar also it is smooth, I feel so. Uh, yeah, I mean it is smooth. Okay guys, this is performing quite well, which was unexpected by me. Anyways, I will definitely try this out more and post a review video. This is, you can see that this is quite smooth. Uh, all right, let's see the, if the screen recorder is working or not. Okay, all right, the screen recorder is working. Just look at this. Okay, so here there is one bug that when we stop the screen recording, there is the screen is getting off anyways.
let's just stop this okay so yeah i mean this is quite smooth as compared quite smooth as compared to the other android 13 roms now cherish os is also good because that's an official as well as also in a smooth option and again this one is also a smooth one so yeah i mean if you want to try you should definitely go for and try this thing out anyway so let's let me show you that uh, whether it is the same or not and here one thing i like is uh, like it is that you can see there is app tiles over uh, in the bottom here you can directly access any of the apps for example if you want to access the phone app you can directly click on this phone option directly you can click on the message you can click on the browser camera and all so yeah i mean this is quite good i mean the integration part this integration part is quite good which uh, i haven't which i haven't seen in any of the custom rom yet now but this one is definitely i feel it's quite good now let's see uh, let me show you that it is an miku ui only you can see that android 13 version and it's completely fine even if it is unofficial the thing which should matter is that it should be smooth it should be performing good so this was all about in this video guys if you like the video then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also like the video and many more custom roms will be come in future and guys one thing i have to tell you that um bro uh, like uh, uh, I'm going to my college from next for the next 20 days and due to this uh, it, like it is not possible for me to post the videos regarding the same like regarding the Redmi Note 8 Pro so but yes I will be updating it on the telegram group like how to flash and all but after 20 days I will definitely be flashing more and more builds so uh, you should uh, like if you have any doubt you can just join our telegram group and also guys you, if you have any uh, doubt then also you can ask in the comment section there is not an issue at all so yeah i mean if you uh, like the video then hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel take care